Welcome, uh, fellow YouTubers. Uh, here's a, uh, a job that I hate to do, and um, I'm going to try a different way now. I'm on my, my mill, and uh, I hate threading rod. never comes out right. Sometimes the thread's crooked. It's almost impossible to keep the uh, die straight on the, on the rod. And so what I'm going to try to do is I got it chucked up here and uh, I put the die in my vise and I'm going to line the two up here manually. Put the tripod's in the way here. And then I'm going to bring the z-axis down and I'm going to get it lined up. And we're going to see if this works, because, uh, let me take you over here to my set. I bought these a few years ago I, I pro at Harbor Freight, I'm pretty sure. I love the taps, taps are easy to use, but the dies and this damn thing, I hate it. I mean, whoever came up with this system, uh, you know, it, it, it's just not, not good. You know, this this thing goes on crooked. You can tilt it each and every way. I mean, you really have to have, to have a good set of eyeballs to keep it straight. Um, I've seen some, uh, some guys online. I saw a couple of videos where a guy drilled a hole on one end and a hole on the other and designed some kind of a contraption to follow the threaded rod down. He had some kind of uh, attachment below it. And it looked like it worked pretty good for big stuff, but for little stuff like that four millimeter, this four millimeter rod I've got here, I don't think it would work out very well. So I'm going to get this lined up. We're going to see if, uh, if this either works or I crash and burn. Now, originally, I want to thread up to here, but uh, I'm kind of, uh, well, first off, uh, it won't go deep enough into my vise. That's the first thing. Uh, so that's out of, the, out of the question, but what I have is a uh, worm gear that has to go on this shaft and it's soldered on and if I thread all this way, I'm worried that the opening on the worm gear, which is 4 millimeter, might be a little loose after having cut the threads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread a little bit of the bottom of this and leave the rest... Um, uh, brass or is this bronze? It's either brass or bronze, I forget now. Uh, and I'm going to solder a washer on the other end. Uh, this goes into a, a body, a gearbox body. Um, so that's the game plan here. So I'm either going to crash and burn or this is actually going to work. Who knows? My first go to was this on my uh, lathe, but uh, and I realized that there was no way I'm going to attach that die. I don't have anything that would fit that die on the other end here, uh, because this holds that four millimeter rod perfect. The only problem is this end here. So if any any inventors out there, you know. Um, looking to market something, if you could find a way to adapt these standard dies to uh, make some kind of an adapter for the, what's this called, the headstock? Yeah, the, the tailstock, tailstock. Um, you'd probably make a million bucks. You know, if you could keep it flat, straight, level inside this machine so that uh, you could just slide it up the rod and uh, you don't have to do this automatically, you don't have to run the motor, you just have to be able to turn it by hand and thread it straight and even and, and that's my goal right now. So I'm going to hook this up to, uh, I try to got a tripod ready here, hook, hook the camera up to the tripod and we'll see uh, if this is going to work out or not. Okay here we go, sorry about all the clutter in the background, this is, you know, it is what it is my uh, garage and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, get this a little closer with the z-axis uh, 
right now. A lot of you guys modify these machines to CNC. This one is CNC also, but uh, I gotta tell you, you're wasting your time if you don't put manual control on your machine. And I've got X, Y, and Z where I can manually move uh, the axis without CNC. I see guys doing the stepping and all that, you know, through Mach 3, and I have Mach 3. And, uh, you know, they step to the center and this, that, and it takes way too long. I can eyeball this in about four or five seconds and get it pretty damn straight, pretty close, just by switching off my axis. And I'm going to do that. Let me show you what I've got here first off. I use the hell out of this too, by the way. On almost every job, I manually uh, set my centers. This is what we've got here. I've got a X, Y, and Z. This switches off my axes. Uh, if I want to use the manual, you see it says manual or CNC. In this case, I just used the Z axis and CNC to get this thing close. Uh, X and Y is off. I'll be using that. And now I'm going to switch off Z. And I've got hand wheels on all my stepper motors. X, Y, and Z. Uh, these are dual shaft stepper motors that allow uh, a wheel to be attached. A you know, it has a quarter inch shaft on it. Let me put this back where it was. And uh, that gives me the ability uh, to set my uh, set my mill up really easy, and sometimes I can stop it in CNC and um, and uh, reset something. If something goes wrong, I can reset it manually. Also, there's a, a number of things you can do manually. Let me stop talking here and get this done. So what I'm going to do is bring the Z down manually. I'm going to get it lined up best I can with the opening of the die here. And forgive me if I mean my head's poking in and out here, but like I said, Yeah, I think an X and Y, pretty much centered, you know, it's above in Z right now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to loosen, I'm going to loosen the collet just a little bit. And what I'm going to do, see it's loose right now, I'm going to use the collet and the mill for alignment purposes, and I'm going to um, put the threads on manually. I do this with taps all the time. I don't know if this is going to work with the die, but I, uh, I do this process all the time with taps. Uh, I did tighten this, didn't I? Yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to put just enough drag on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning by hand, if I can, get it start. Oh, you got to take the rod out. <laughs> See, we can't get it started. And it's going to take quite a bit of force until it starts cutting threads. Because it does when you do it manually. You really got to lay into it. It helps put a little cutting oil on here too. And I mean I'm really leaning into this. All the alignment coming from the mill. I don't have a handle on it. I'm not trying to, you know, have the I don't have this in a vise and try to keep it straight and get it started. Everything I'm doing here is is uh, br you know brute force, but all the alignment is in the mill. I see it cutting a little bit. 
I don't know if we got started yet. Mm. Put a little pressure on this. For a meal. I need to wet it enough. I'm actually turning this thing. I don't know if it's slipping. A little mark there though. Yep, the rod's turning. Definitely don't want to try this under power because unpredictable what will happen. The power it feels like it's cutting. Hard to, hard to see. Uh oh, camera battery's flashing. Might have to stop, finish this, and uh, come back and show you the results. But you get the gist of it. Okay, back. Charge the battery a little bit. Hopefully it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. So, um, I put enough threads in this thing now. And, uh, worst thing you can do is try to back this out. Uh, while it's in the, um, mill. So, and I, I know this from experience because I do this with taps. Okay? Except this would be the tap and this would be the, uh, uh, thing I'm tapping right now it's reversed this is the uh, this is the thing I want to put a thread on and this is the uh, die but anyway it's always best to take it out of the uh, vise loosen the vise and what I'm going to do is uh, take these out I'm going to put the Z back in uh, auto and Mach 3 It's the Z. I showed you the switches before. I just put it back in um, CNC and I'm going to drive it up a little bit. And I'm losing this because it's loose. I won't let it fall out. What I'm going to do is by hand I'm going to back, the, back this off. That's by far the safest way to do this. Focused or not. There you go. Four millimeter. Okay, so that worked. So um, we'll shut this down right now and uh, good luck with your uh, little project. <laughs> 